Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to my yarn adventures for this week. What have I been up to? Well, I have some finished objects to share with you. I got a little happy mail via email, which was really lovely, and some chit chat. So I hope you enjoy this week's yarn adventures. Let's get started. My week started off amazingly well. I was on Ravelry and I had been gifted a pattern out of my wish list. Um, I've said in past videos, sometimes I could use a voodoo doll for work to stick pins in when work is stressful and it has been lately and will be till January. However, one of my lovely subscribers and a fellow podcaster, I had in my favourites a wish list for a voodoo doll pin cushion and they gifted me the pattern and here it is, the voodoo doll pin cushion. I'll just need my... It's a crochet pattern, of course, by Jonas Mathis of Super Gurumi. Now, that is a voodoo doll, and it gives you pictures, of, I think, basically, of other patterns on Super Gurumi. More to make. Aren't they great? Yep. So, yeah. When I saw this, everything came to a stop. I had to make this, and I made it all up in a day or oh, you know a couple of hours in a one night and then I finished putting the eyes and the black stitching on it the second night do you want to see my voodoo doll pink cushion he is amazing I love him Ta -da! he is so cute and yes I have been sticking pins into him all week and Saturday morning he copped quite a few well, the person who peed me off copped quite a few stick pins. <laughs> but here he is. That is 100% cotton. I have no idea what brand. It was scrap cotton with some scrap black cotton and a couple of buttons for eyes. But I really do love him. And when Reeb saw him, he said, you know what you could do? You can make the same doll upset, make it in green and some red. And give it a red mouth and make a zombie pincushion. So don't be surprised if you see a zombie pincushion coming up soon. But I do love him. And I thank my um, friend who gave me this pattern as a gift very much. It is very much appreciated and very thoughtful of you to give me this voodoo doll pincushion because I love him. <laughs> thank you. You know who you are. And she is a fellow podcaster. So that was my happy mail that kicked off of a great week. And yes, he will be entered in Amigurumi Wars because I've got back into making Amigurumi and I am waging war on them. And yes, I'm going to enter him in this month's Amigurumi Wars. I didn't do any last month, haven't done every month, but when I really enjoy something, I like to show him off. So that was one. And then I decided... I should make some more pin cushions and I thought what better way than to use um, Rel from the Dabbling Hook Octo and she has a tutorial for this Octo on her channel and I happened to be watching her video when she was talking about all the Octos she sold at her market so here he is this is Pinhead Pete Octo isn't he cute this is a bit of Red Heart Ombre leftover yarn and some um, artificial eyes I didn't embroider the eyes I'm not great you can see his mouth's a bit lopsided but yes I decided this little one would make a great pin cushion and I'm going to try and sell him at the markets because Reeb seems to think people will like these as little stocking fillers for gifts and yeah I made a little Octo I love Rel's Octo she has a paid for pattern for Octo 2 which has a much longer body I've shown it in the past so yes, do you like him? I think he's great and um, her tutorial is so easy to follow and I may be making more with different little faces and names because I do like naming them. So easy. And he's going to be entered in Amigurumi Wars too. Why not? I'm really quite proud of him too. So they're my first two finished objects I did early in the week. 
and I have been following Amanda at Mouse's Makes and she is doing a make-along and it is called Mouse October Mal 2022 and I think you put FO when you hashtag it with that on Instagram when you put the photos. She, I think there's a Ravelry thread but I'm not great with those. So the theme of it is you could make anything autumn or fall. Um, anything Halloween, anything that was represented October. So for me, we're going into summer. It has got really hot very quick. Reeves and I were saying it's never this hot this early in October. It's usually in more November heat, but we yeah, definitely going to have a very wet, wet season. So I decided we tend to have a tree that loses a lot of leaves this time of year near the driveway, much to um, things bane because he has to sweep them off the driveway, put them in the compost bin. It's actually the neighbor's tree that's close to the fence, but it's only once a year and they make great compost. So it inspired my project. Now for the market in um, November, where I'll be fundraising for Emma's Quest, I need tea cozies because the last one I sold quite a few. So I decided I would make my autumn leaves tea cozy there's a pile of leaves on top yes there it is it's drift knitted or fade knitted and i used um click heat and eight ply country i think it's country that's what it's called all of it's the same all the different colors i think there's a bit of um bendigo bloom that's where the red comes from the ready goldy color that's Bendigo Bloom, but mainly Click Heaton and some Bendigo Bloom. All eight ply or three way knitted. Has a rolled bottom, so if your teapot's a bit taller, you can um, block it and put the roll a bit further down. But there you have my first tea cozy for the November market. Autumn leaves would I will enter into the October make along for Mouse's Mates. Now all these make-alongs, channels, everything will be in the description below for you to check out all these patterns if you're interested. Now, I follow Lynette at Charm Grammy. Always like to watch her videos. She's always making some great things and she currently has a make-along going. And I have to get the hashtag right. I just put my glasses on. It is important. Um, it is Ugly Christmas 2022. Now, I think the idea was it was going to be an ugly jumper for Christmas. And she sort of extended a bit to anything ugly for Christmas that you can make or what you class as ugly. So for me, I made an ugly teapot jumper. And here it is. Ta-da! Santa's house. It's a bit ugly. Um, this is um, mainly Red Heart. Red Heart Super Saver and some Spotlight USA style yarn. A bit of mohair for supposedly smoke coming out of his chimney. And yes, these are all buttons. You've got like Santa in the window, Christmas tree, doorknob, bit of decoration up top. And I did the back as well. I just did it a little different. So yeah, my ugly jumper for my teapot. There you go aka a tea cozy because I do need them for my market store and I thought what a better way I think it's knitted and crocheted the hardest part is um, this was knitted and then I'm converting it to crochet to get this top that I wanted and yeah it's got crooked windows and some pretty um, ordinary sort of look about it I did think of putting flowers and then I thought no it's winter you can't do that but there you have it my ugly jumper for my teapot for ugly Christmas 2022 with a charm Grammy. If I can support fellow podcasters that are running a make along just to support their make along and their channel, I will. And if I can't fit in a big project and then the um, make alongs adaptable like Lynette did, just do ugly Christmas, um, then I can always come up with a little project I can make like pinhead pete so yeah i've really had a great week crafting till friday afternoon Ta -da! what happened
my pink rocket tee that I had been knitting for a while that I determined to finish. Well, I've been knitting, getting up early yet because I haven't been able to sleep very well and I've been knitting a couple of rows before work, like getting ready for work, having coffee and I left it on the lounge Friday morning. Now, we had workmen here and somehow it got moved quite clumsily and 150 stitches of that project were dropped and six rows they ran down. I was not happy Friday night. I couldn't work out whether I would just give up and frog it all, what I would do. But I slept on it and Saturday I was up early again, couldn't sleep, awake at five. And I decided I'd have a go at picking them up and bringing them up six rows because I did not put a lifeline in it, did I? Done. So until about one o'clock on and off, I picked them up. Truly amazing. Thing said he told the workman he wasn't happy. He would have moved it. He knows how delicate these things are. He also was quite cheeky and said, I hope you're going to give me discount on the bill because my wife will be very unhappy all weekend. We haven't got the bill yet. We will see. But yes, they didn't ask for it to be moved. They just... And that's what happened to it. Look, the My Rocket Tea isn't great. The yarn I have used, I picked up on sale. There is jogging in the dye colours. And I also discovered... Either I didn't calculate enough yarn for, for me to finish it in this colour or I lost yarn because this is a knitting project I took away with me and I can't find enough yarn to finish it. However, all the stitches are picked up and I did come up with an idea of how I could finish it because it is just going to be a top I wear around the house in the cooler months, you know, like daggy clothes you wear around the house. So... Hopefully I will get this rocket tee finished one day because I do have another top I would like to go with more expensive wool and make. I wanted to make a wearable for myself and this was inspired by Mouse's mates, Amanda. And I like the idea of top down, um, making tops from top down rather than bottom up and having to stitch in sleeves and what have you. So yes, my rocket tee, it seems to be the bane of my existence. It hasn't gone well. It was and is a learning experience for me to make a wearable, knitted wearable for myself. On that note, the Stephen West MCAL. Well, I did the first repeat in section one and I decided, <laughs> look, I like the, the actual pattern. I like the color combination I've picked. It's the fine four ply. Now the Rocket T's four ply and that is a learning experience for me to knit with such fine yarn and I am having the same sort of trouble with the fine yarn for the MCAL. Now I believe I saw um, Mystric week three has been released and I haven't even got nowhere near week one finished. So I've just decided to sit it aside, either finish the Rocket T and then go back to the MCAL. But trying to do both at once is doing my head in. And crafting, as Reef said, I thought it was supposed to be relaxing and fun. Um, he said if we had a swear jar, it could be quite full right now. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, we had a great morning out. Reeves and I we went to the um, vinyl record shop in town uh, where they have old and new pressed records. And I managed to pick up. And I didn't have one. And I'd mentioned it during the week when we were watching a documentary. Oh, I don't have T-Rex on vinyl, Mark Bolan. And he had one at a reasonable price. So I bought that. And believe it or not, because I did say to the guy, that is not mine. I am not picking that. My son Reeves, who's into death metal, heavy metal, dark metal. Guess what he picked? Paula Abdul. Yes, Paula Abdul on vinyl. Apparently it's a collector's item and he doesn't mind her. The guy in the shop was laughing because you're distancing yourself from Paula Abdul. I said, yep, not mine, not mine. I'm not buying that one. <laughs> but yeah, we had a fun morning out. He even took me to Spotlight for because um, he was doing all the driving. I hadn't been feeling that great driving around. 
he um, even waited in the car while I went into Spotlight and bought some knitting needles and then he took me to the little craft shop that's not far away to see if I could get something else and yeah we came home we had a great morning out together so yeah sometimes it's fun going out with a son even though he's not into knitting and crocheting he runs his mother around he's a good son so it is Sunday afternoon I'm doing a roast chicken for dinner because it's easy yes so let me know if you have any small project um, that you think I could make for my market in November that I can sell um, to raise money for Emma's Quest. I do scrunchies. I do sell a lot of scrunchies. I do headbands. I do little amigurumis. I've got some bigger ones. Um, they don't sell as well. I've got a lot of loveys. I do have a lovey I could make. I found another toy. Um, but I was thinking, do I make it for November or do I save it for the December market? Who's to know? But yeah, let me know if you can think of anything. I do baby face washes. And of course, during the week, I have made three tea towels with crochet toppers. Generally, what I do is set them up at night, ready to go, start them, and I can whip one of those up in my lunch hour at work because they are my number one seller, of course. So guys, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed my yarn adventures. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you like, what you make um, for little projects. And to all those new subscribers, because there have been a few, welcome. I hope you stick around and enjoy my yarn adventures and my videos. You never know what they're going to be about. Till next time, stay safe, stay well. And if you need a voodoo doll, I suggest you make one because they make you feel really good sticking the pin in when you're having a bad day. Bye for now.